Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a scrapbook layout for Cut To You design team. And today I am using the gorgeous cut file called Flower Rose Globe. And I have pre-backed this one. I was working on this at a recent weekend away retreat, um, which I accidentally forgot to take my camera stand. So I have done a few layouts in preparation. And then when I got home, I was able to finish things off and, and obviously film as well. So I'll talk a little bit about what I did for the leaves in just a moment. The, um, I have done some mixed media for my leaves and I'll explain how I did that. The collection that I'm using today is the gorgeous Pink Fresh Studio Happy Blooms collection. And oh my goodness, this is so pretty, this, um, this collection. It has some yellow, beautiful yellows, some pinks, some purples, which has got a little bit of a blue tinge as well. So it's more of that, I see it as periwinkle sort of blue, but it definitely has a purple hinge. You get some strawberries even in the ephemera and things like that as well. It is super, super cute. Um, I don't have everything from the collection. So I have some of the pattern papers and I have the ephemera pack and I have the enamel dots. So I'm really taking advantage of some of the patterned paper here and did some fussy cutting out as well to use as embellishments around the page. So I'll just talk just a little bit about the leaves. So this is where my mixed media came in. I have created my own patterned paper, I guess you can say, just by using some ink sprays from my stash. I grabbed out a piece of white cardstock and just sprayed and added a little bit of water to each one and then made my own sort of tones across the piece of white cardstock. Um, so you'll see that there's different sort of color. There's a little bit of a darker green. Um, so as I was putting all the colors on, I've sort of created my own colors along the way. To do that, I did use my shimmers sprays and I've used a couple of greens and blue colors. So, and tealy sort of colors. So I used Jenny B Blue in Vibes. In colorings, I used Well Blue Me Down, which is a beautiful sort of greeny sort of acary color. I also used a little bit of a Velveteen Green, which is a really dark green. I didn't use a lot of that, um, but that gave me a really good color depth in some of those, uh, those leaves that I was able to cut out. I also used a little bit of Oh Say Can You See. That is so hard to say the name of that title. <laughs> And then I also used um, spritz in hint of mint. Um, so like I said, I just sprayed it down onto some white cardstock, allowed that to dry, and then I just backed my leaves with that. And then once that they were backed, I then added a little bit of a sort of gold, just with the tip of um, my spray bottle, and just a little bit more of the greens and aquas as well, just to give a little bit of definition, which you will see a little bit more in the close-ups um, at the end of my vid today. So I really had lots of fun doing that. I was able to actually create a number of leaves, shapes, um, and you may see them on some future layouts as well. I've now got a little bit of a stash going where I can use that for backing photos or even adding into as just elements on the page as well. So although I'm using a globe um, cut file today and you would normally create maybe a travel type themed layout with a globe or a road trip or, or something, something with planes or something like that. I decided to use it a little bit differently for me, for this one today. I just really, really loved this globe. I loved the floral component of it. I loved the leaves. Um, so I thought I'm just going to celebrate the cut file and do something a little bit different and don't go for that traditional sort of what was, what was it actually created for? I have popped it up on some foam. So I've completed foam all around the set, all around the globe, including over the flower and the, and the, and the base, and also the, what would be the, you know, the arm of the globe as well. And I haven't put any backing on the back of the leaves. I've sort of wanted to lift those off the page to give some dimension. And I wanted to then tuck in my photo. 
Now, my photo is also something that I don't often scrap with. This is a six by four photo, but I thought it snuggled in perfectly into that area of the globe. And this photo was taken at my birthday party, um, my dinner, birthday family dinner, actually, before my actual birthday party earlier this year. This is of my mother and her partner. We had a wonderful seafood dinner down on the river in Brisbane. It was a lovely, lovely evening as we were um, going to then party on the next night with a lot of friends. So what I did to it to give myself a little bit more room with my um, embellishing here, I have done a heap of fussy cutting and just added three points of embellishing. And each of my clusters are small, bigger or smaller, whichever way you look at it, um, than the other. So my bottom one on the bottom left hand side there is a lot larger. I've really covered up a fair bit of base there that top left hand side and just at the bottom there on the right hand side of the photo is my smaller cluster. I have made sure that my clusters still had the same types of colors um, in each one. I also added in some puffy stickers as well. They are super, super cute from this collection. So I just put some randomly around the page as well, finished off with some gorgeous little enamel dots and then I was done. So I will leave all the links below around where you can get the cut file from the store and also the links to the headquarters group that we have on Facebook as well. We would love it if you come and shared with us what you're up to with all your cut files and your scrapbooking um, this month. As always, I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you spending your creative time with me and I will see you next time. Bye for now.